G'day folks, I'm Mick van Sale from Ironman 4x4. One of the most important aspects of any overlanding vehicle is a good electrical system. You need additional power to power, most importantly, probably a fridge and then some camp lighting. The electrical installation on our bush truck is important because we're going to be away from civilization, we're going to be away from power points. So we want to have effective battery management in our vehicle. And as soon as this is a vehicle that's being used by a film crew, we also want to have a pure sine wave 220 volt power available in the vehicle at all times for the charging of, of battery equipment. And to do that properly and effectively, you need a second or auxiliary battery as we refer to it. This is a battery that operates independently from the main battery so that you never found draining the, the power out of your main battery, which will leave you stranded with no ability to start your vehicle. And the management of that second battery, that's the charging of it and then the, the drawing of power from it, it's critical that it is done correctly. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a system that doesn't work and your camping trip, an overlanding trip will just be a big old mess. So the most important thing probably in the whole electrical system is the means of charging the second battery. Um, in modern vehicles with uh, smart alternators, the old solenoid type of system just doesn't work anymore um, due to the fact that smart alternators don't give a full charge at all times. So instead of that, we have what's referred to as a DC to DC charging system. So it really is a very similar to an AC to DC charger, which is something you use in your garage at home to charge your batteries, but it uses power from the vehicle's main battery. It operates only when the vehicle is running and it then takes 12 volt uh, power from the main battery and it gives your second battery a good solid charge. The other thing we want to do is install in this vehicle is a inverter, which is this big boy over here. So this is really a, an inverter and a charger. Inverter meaning it'll take 12 volt power from the battery and it'll give you 220 volt of pure sine wave power, which is what you need when you want to charge camera batteries and drone batteries. Those batteries are very sensitive to power spikes and stuff, so pure sine wave uh, inverter is what you need. This module from Victron Energy, which is a brand that we uh, endorse, uh, it also doubles then as a normal 220 volt AC to DC charger. So if you're at a campsite, you happen to be at a campsite where there is 220 volt power, it'll then flick over and while you've got 220 volt power, it will charge your, your second battery and, you know, and replenish it. The other thing we're going to put into the vehicle is this solar controller. It's an MPPT solar controller, a very efficient way of harnessing solar power. Um, and basically, if you're in the bush, no 220 volt available, you can plug your solar panel in and it will in turn charge your 12 volt battery. Into our bush truck, we're going to be mounting them into this window box, which is a box that hangs inside one of the doors of the vehicle. At the rear of the vehicle, we mount this on the driver's side because on the passenger side is where your kitchen needs to be. With that said, let's get stuck into putting all of this together. We mount all of the electronics in these dust and waterproof, they're just normal electrical boxes. The other thing that's very important to note is that you'd use thick enough gauge wire and always fuse everything. We mount all the electrical components, fuses, switches, sockets, we mount all of those in here so it's all neat and safe. The worst thing you can have is you have to have wiring running all over the place that can be snagged or damaged while you're touring. The electrical and dual battery system has now been installed in the vehicle. 
As you can see, it's a very compact and neat install. This is the inverter charger. The DC to DC charger and MPPT solar controller is inside this box here. We have plug points here. This is the monitor for the Victron system. And the nice thing about this Victron energy system is that it features an app that you can put on your iPhone or your Android phone. And you can basically see anything and everything that is going on with the system, whether you're in the vehicle or lying in the bed at night in the rooftop tent. Uh, very high quality uh, gear from Victron, works very well.